everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today, we got a brand new one, All About the Blue Stripe Snapper, or the Blue Line Sea Perch. These guys are very pretty in the tank. They're very active and got some beautiful colors on them, and they're really nice to have in Fowler tanks. Prices on them, you'll usually spend about $50 to get one of these at a decent size. Tank size, you will need a very large aquarium for these as they do get very large and they're also very, very active swimming in the tank. So you want to give them plenty of room to go around in. So you'll need about a 300 gallon fish tank by the end of their lifespan. Hair level, they're actually a super easy fish to take care of. Snappers usually are a very hardy fish. They're great for beginners and they're also really, really good eaters too. Love meaty food. They're usually the first ones up there eating stuff. And sometimes they can even take control and eat too much. So you'll definitely have to kind of sneak them over some food on the other side while you're feeding on the opposite side of your tank so your other fish can get some food. Temper, they're actually a very peaceful fish. You won't have to worry about too much bullying going on with your fish. It is best to put them with other kind of larger fish that can hold their own because they have been prone to eat smaller fish as they do get older. So you definitely don't want to put them with like a school of chromies because they'll definitely see those as a snack eventually. But aggression wise and them trying to like cover their territory, they really don't mess with that too much. They are usually just schooling around, swimming crazily back and forth throughout the tank. Reef compatibility is definitely with caution. They do not mess with your corals. You should not have a problem there, but they are prone to eat your inverts like your little cleaner shrimps, your fire shrimp that you have running around, they'll see those as snacks. And like I said, smaller fish like your chromies and little damsels, whenever they become adults and they get very large, they will definitely see those as food. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, pKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.02 to 1.025. Everything's basic there. Keep all that in the range and you'll be doing just fine. Max size, so eventually they can get a whopping 10 inches long, which is a big snapper. So you definitely want to have that larger aquarium for them to have a good life in. Now usually you see them get up to about 7 inches at least whenever they are growing in an aquarium setting. So you can expect them to at least get that long. But especially if you have a school swimming around, you'll want that larger tank just to handle their waste that they produce in the tank. Colors is a big reason why everybody wants them. They have a bright white belly with a yellow body and bright blue stripes running along them. So they definitely will catch your eye and they look great under some nice LEDs too. Diet, so they are carnivore. You're going to want to make sure you're feeding them plenty of meaty food. Whenever they are smaller juveniles, you'll want to mix up some mysis and brine shrimp, krill, any kind of pieces of shrimp like that that you can get frozen, they'll love that. And as they get larger, you want to start mixing in some bigger, meatier foods like some shrimp from the grocery store. People will feed them clams on a half shell even. So a lot of more little squid pieces, anything like that with a larger, meatier taste to it, that's what they're going to love. Origin, so they come from all over. They're one of the most widespread snappers in the ocean you can find them all the way from fiji indonesia the maldives and even on the complete other side over in hawaii so they come from all over the place along the reefs compatibility just ask they do best in fowler tanks even with predatory fish usually fish that are around their size that can hold their own they also are great schooling fish and they love to be in multiples in the aquarium. We usually try to get people to get multiple of them because they will be much happier in the tank as a group. So usually we try to get people to at least get three of them so they'll be happy schooling around, swimming around the tank. They usually are on the outskirts of the reefs in the wild. So make sure to have a nice rock structure, big caves for them to swim in and out of. A lot of holes they can wedge up in at night, but then also a lot of open areas because a lot of times they're swimming just out in the open in a school looking for some food. Other than that, that pretty much hits on everything you need to know about the blue striped snapper. They're a very beautiful fish. 
great one for beginners or if you have a really big fowler tank that you're just looking for a fish with some great color and great personality this is a really good one to try out hope you all have a wonderful day wonderful weekend make sure to like and subscribe to this video and i will see y'all later Hey everybody, it's Brock and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family.